downtown Santa Fe near the plaza for the 2009 India Market. This is an annual event that takes place here where Native Americans come from all over the region to present their wares, their jewelry, their pottery, their, their art, sculpture, and I'm very excited. This is my first time attending Indian Market. I'm hoping to meet up with some potters that I already know and hope to meet some new ones that uh, I'm not familiar with and, and get to know their work and uh, I'm really excited about it. So let's check out what's happening and uh, see what Indie Market has to offer. So I'm here with Alfreda Frawa, and she is from the Jemez Pueblo, and she is a potter there. And um, so tell me a little bit about your specific work and, and what your influences are, and um, a little bit about your family, because you come from a family where there's a pretty pretty large tradition of, of pottery. Yes, yes. Um, my grandmother 
I um, started doing pottery when she was a teenager. And back then, they painted natural colors. And I had my brother teach me how, and he learned from my grandmother. Your grandmother's name was? Loretta Cajero. And my brother's name is Gabriel Cajero. And uh, he's the one that taught me how. And through inspiration and determination and... Um, he taught me how to polish, how to, he, actually he sat me down and told me patience that will come from Mother Earth to um, put your full potential on, on life's course here. Um, I've been doing this for uh, since I was a teenager, and um, I actually put my myself into it. Finally, how do I say it? I finally put myself into full time with my pottery in about three years ago. So I um, was that a transition that you something happened in your life and you just decided that you wanted to I think be so. a creative was, all the time? It was, it was actually. In a way, Mother Earth speaking to me, telling me to put myself into it and put my heart and soul into it. And I actually never had that that in a, in a spiritual way of dealing with it. But now I really enjoy working with the clay. I feel that I have the one-on-one um, -on -one with, with Mother Earth. So I really, I, I really enjoy doing what I'm doing now. Uh, from start to finish, it takes about a good month. Months. Just from digging the clay out from Mother Earth and letting her dry and, and then pounding her down to where I have enough to sift with to the finest grain. And uh, it also has, it has two parts of it. So I have the clay and the white sand which I mix together. And then from there, the formation and then the drying of the clay and the, the pot and the sanding. Then I polish it after I sand it, and then from there, after I polish, I, I put my designs on and I try it. So it's, it's a process. It's not just an overnight thing or two weeks or anything. And what I do is just grab the clay. I speak to it, of course, and I give it my prayers and everything you know, else will form the way you want it form. So as I just make it into a ball, I just start raising it up, just raise it up, and, and it forms as it goes. So this is what I get.